I have been recently placed at Tata LXD as an engineer. My designation is Embedded Product uh, Designer. Comes under the Automotive uh, Business Unit of the Model Based Development. Now I got the department as a transport department. I'll be doing like uh, modeling the logics of the ADAS features. And my job role is a uh, great engineer in the transportation section of the Tata LXD. Skylink has uh, done a very impressive job starting from my career growth uh, to give me confidence and motivation which I lack at the beginning of coming into this course. Skylink is such kind of course so uh, there I can express myself and get some skills. So it was very beneficial in increasing my knowledge in automotive domain uh, basically mainly in electric vehicle domain. Skylink will get the chance to learn about new skill sets which will be helpful in getting the jobs. Actually, uh, Skillink is far, far more better than my undergraduate. In undergraduation, especially starting from the first year of my college uh, up to the final year, it's all about uh, theories. But over here, it was like software as well as the application of software in real life. Projects which we did uh, in Skillink was very helpful because executing each and every features which were explained earlier in the videos and also the features which were very new and not explained in the video it was challenged to us that uh, we can use uh, much more uh, features uh, instead of the videos so it, it was helpful for us uh, to work on projects like uh, in the, which are the which are like prototypes of the industrial projects which we were doing like an example there was a project called uh, design of electric vehicle using MATLAB. So here also at at Tata Lexi, my role is to like design EV using MATLAB only. So it was kind of uh, the, that project I did and that I did in Skilling kind actually kind of helping me right now. They use some projects like actual electric vehicle. So as a rickshaw model, then battery management system model which are uh, very relevant to the, our industry le relevant projects uh, because I, I just uh, saw in Tata Galaxy there are also some projects like a battery management system uh, Before the interviews taken by Tata's uh, Skillink has uh, organized uh, many uh, mock interviews and uh, uh, training sessions uh, which, is, uh, which really helped me a lot uh, to gather uh, to gather uh, the experience, to gather the confidence, uh, to the motivation. The mock interviews was very uh, tough, like uh, as will happen in the actual interview. So it helped me out to get prepared for actual interview. The questions which were asked by the industrial expert was very good and was very helpful me to understand where I am lacking so I can improve for the actual interview. For Tata interview process, firstly there was a quiz round which was prompted to a video test uh, from Tata Lexi itself and the questions were based on EV technology mainly on battery systems and power converters so as I did my individual courses at Skilllink uh, it can help me solve numericals and answer and tackle the questions that were asked in MCQs Uh, it's usually uh, uh, changes a lot of things because uh, in the uh, in the beginning of the course, I hardly had any uh, amount of ex uh, knowledge or experience rather in the electric field and the automotive market. But after coming to the course, after going to that course, after uh, doing the courses uh, in uh, doing the courses uh, in detail, uh, I have get a huge amount of overview of how the automotive uh, how the automotive system works and how the automotive automotive market is booming in the future. In undergraduation, my final year project was a regenerative bike, so it was also also an EV. We didn't know about the software aspects of it. We just uh, designed a, a model on a sheet, uh, make connection diagram, and just bought parts and assembled it. So after skilling, I got to know about various softwares used for stimulating the uh, EV and I can right now stimulate my designed regenerative bike from undergraduation and simulate it whenever I want. Uh, I completed the uh, one regenerative bike in my, in, uh, my last, year, last year engineering. 
so i am very interested about that uh, how it exactly works the converter part or the pulse width modulation part i just know about the motor this is the motor this is the hardware part of motor this is the part of uh, controller so uh, when we give the throttle the controller will control the pulse width modulation and give to the motor so that time i was uh, known about that thing so after the skill i know about the how the controllers control the current control the voltage and use the uh, pulse width modulation to the motor how will the voltage is given to the motor uh, what is the duty cycle uh, what is the protection systems we are given to the uh, motor uh, what are the thermal uh, thermal protection we have to given to the motors or battery management system all the concept get clear by the skill